What's up guys, Flickfy here, and today we're up to episode 67 of this York City career mode, and in today's episode I'm finally showing that squad report for you guys, and we also have a couple big tests in the Premier League. So a couple of the main players in the squad report is obviously going to be Bergamelli, he's gone up 4 already, and we're not even halfway through the season. I'm really excited to see how much he's actually going to grow throughout the season. Uh, you know, the most I've seen a player grow is like maybe 5 or 6. And he's on track to maybe grow up to 8, so that'd be awesome to see. And his value is like somewhere in the 15 million or something like that. So that's that's absolutely ridiculous. Seeing as we, I think we just signed him last year, so he's improved just drastically. And he's been a great signing for us, as well as our center back Perez. So the first match we have today is going to be against Fulham. And they're not sitting too well in the league table, but obviously any team that we play in this Premier League is going to be a tough test because they're all great teams. You know, most of them, I think all of them are actually four star up besides us, obviously, here at York City. But that doesn't mean we can't pull off some victories because obviously you can check out the league table there We're sitting second place in the league just behind Manchester City and Chelsea's right behind us So, you know, we're doing really well in the league so far And I'm actually super surprised that we've done this well to be honest guys But I'm gonna try to keep it going as well as I can and we actually start the game off really well there through Kirchhoff Goalkeeper makes a good save on the cross But Kirchhoff finishes it off with a header and we get the 1-0 lead going into halftime So that was a great start for us and Henley was looking to make it 2-0 using his pace and muscling out that defender. And he's going to look for a cross, but he's going to find Kirchhoff in the center. Kirchhoff's going to have a go, but a great save there by their keeper. Just uh, kind of tips it right over the crossbar and keeps the game at 1-0. And Fulham was on the attack from here on here in the 52nd minute. I thought this finesse shot was going in, but that one must have just gone wide. And here in the 64th minute, it's going to be De Silva who makes a great run. Great ball from Kirchhoff to find De Silva. De Silva using some of his strength. He doesn't have too much of it, but he has enough to get by the defender. Gets a shot on goal, but another good save from their keeper. And here in the 84th minute, it's probably going to be the goal of the episode. Look at that shot from him. I don't even know what to say after that one in. That was just an impressive goal, and you can't take anything away from Fulham managing to get that goal there. So we, we get a draw there in the first match of the episode, so I wasn't too angry about that because that was an amazing goal, and that might just be a the goal of the season. We'll see how things turn out later on the season, but that was a great goal. But here we get a couple of uh, press stuff from our two backs, uh, Yvonne, and as well as, I can't remember, uh, Hewitt, I think is the name, the other one. So Hewitt isn't too happy with how he's been performing in the team, and uh, Yvonne actually has been great, playing great. You know, he scored a great goal, I think it was last episode, that... Uh, that one just outside the penalty box, so that was just a great goal from him, and he's been performing, I think, a little bit better than Hewitt, to be honest, guys, but, you know, Hewitt's got a lot of nice potential, and I think he'll he'll be just fine later on this season. He's just got to find his role in the squad, and hopefully he can find that pretty soon. So here we just get a bunch of scouting stuff, and, you know, our, squ our uh, scouts actually did really well this time around. We found a lot of players with a pretty decent amount of potential, so we signed quite a few of them, and we'll see how they turn out, and if they don't turn out, then, you know, I can always just release them, and we'll be on with our day. But here we're going to send out a, our second scout, uh, the first scout in to England there, and he's just going to be there for six months, so probably for the rest of the season. And we have our next match here against Wigan Athletic, and I was actually trying to send that second scout to England as well, but I soon realized that, you know, you can't actually send two, uh, two scouts in the same country. So later on, you guys will see what I do with that second scout. But here we move on to our match against Wigan, and after that draw, we move down to third place in the league. Chelsea takes the first place position due to their goal differential. 15 gold refresher, that's actually pretty impressive this early in the season. And, you know, we did beat Chelsea early on, earlier on in the season. So, you know, we've done really well against the, the big squads. You know, I think our only loss is against Tottenham so far. So that's uh, really nice for us. Uh, here at Wigan Athletic, they were just passing it all around. Cody plays a great ball in and a fantastic finish from Ursula getting it right by the keeper. I don't think Joe Jerome had a chance at that one. He was trying to track back, cover the middle of his net, and the striker just slotted that one away perfectly into the corner. So we were going down into halftime, 1-0 in the 52nd minute here. Yvonne makes another great run, and both our, our left back and right back have, one thing I really do like about them is they do make some nice overlap runs uh, pretty much throughout the game. You can see here, De Silva makes a great run. He's gonna try to get that near post, but El Asabi makes another great save. He performed really well in this game. But De Silva finds Yvonne in the center, and Yvonne's going to look for Morante, and Morante managed to get by the defender and slot that one home in the 90th minute. So I was thinking, you know, we managed to pull a draw. Great finish from Morante, but unfortunately, the ref gave quite a bit of time to Wigan, and I bet you guys are going to guess what happens here. Ursula, yet again, just makes a great pass, and Fabian 
uh, and manages to actually get them the win. So that was a little heartbreaking to manage to pull one back in the 90th minute only to end up losing the game. So that was unfortunate to see, but I guess it's a test for the team. You know, last season was probably the biggest test I'll ever have to face with that six game losing streak. And I'm not too worried about our results. You know, we've been performing uh, extremely well and I'm just happy with how we've done so far in this season. And I'm still looking for that perfect squad for the international management. I'm not looking for like the maybe the five star rated team, but I'm looking for a team that I'm going to be happy and actually enjoy playing games with. So you can see here, I finally go and find that second scout and I'm going to send them to the USA, uh, my home country. And hopefully they can find some nice players there. And we're also going to send them out for six months. And maybe we can find a nice striker or whatever I did. Go ahead and send them out. I think I was sent for maybe a playmaker or something like that. But here we're going to move into the last match of the episode against Aston Villa. And this squad is actually just absolutely ridiculous. Let me tell you guys right now, they have Benteke and Emenike at their strikers, as well as Darren Ben on the bench. So that's just a, a crazy, crazy team full of strikers. I don't know if they have Agbon Lahore anymore on the team, but if they have four of those strikers, all of which are just extremely good, that would just be just immense just the ability to sign for strikers of that potential is just unheard of in my opinion but luckily for us we managed to strike first there in the 76th minute not really a high scoring game only a couple chances for each team and really really did shut down Darren Bent as well as Emanike and Benteke and here Bergamelli is going to get through on goal has a nice little fake shot and managed to get a header and pretty much sealed the deal for us in the 87th minute getting the 2-0 result so Aston Villa despite their really sick squad to be honest just wasn't able to get the goals and we were able to get the 2-1 win there to round out the episode so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode uh, not the best results but at least we ended off with a win so if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like or a comment anyways this has been Flickify. I'll talk to you guys again soon.